Okay, my name is Laura TC Lewis 7 and today I'm going to be showing you how to um, install and use AVS Video Converter 6. First, either on your uh, Internet Explorer uh, or Firefox browser, you need to get up Google. Uh, at the moment, I am currently using Firefox. Um, and then you go, there's the cursor right there, and you type in AVS video. I can normally type faster than this, but because I'm holding a camera, I'm not typing it fast. And then it says uh, there are like, options, and you want um, the number six uh, option. So that one that my cursor is on. You click that, um, and then it should be the first one that comes up, the first link, um, or the second, whichever one you wish to click. I'm going to click the first link and then it brings you onto this page and as you can see it says here is with a converter and you just go on to the download uh, button It doesn't usually do that on Internet Explorer, it normally opens it, but I'm going to choose the save file. And it will come up in a little window on its own in blue. Um, and it looks as if it's trying to save. And it's on, it's on uh, a percentage, it's on 6%, so it could take a while. And then um, I'll show you what to do after this is downloaded or saved. Then... Uh, an icon should uh, appear. I'll just demonstrate. Um, this icon in blue at the bottom. You double click that and a box should come up saying run or cancel. So you click run and it says at the top name AVS video converter dot X uh, E X E. Uh, publisher Online Media Technology Ltd. Type application from, and then that's my desktop. So you click run. And it's in English. So if you if you can speak English, then you press OK. Otherwise, you get go onto the drop down bar and select your language. And it says Welcome to the AWS Video Converter set six setup wizard. This one is the iOS Video Converter 6 on your computer. It is recommended that you close all of applications before continuing. Click next to continue or cancel to exit setup. So obviously we click next. And then there's the agreement, which I'm not even going to bother reading. I always just accept. So it will be, don't, it will be on don't accept, but you just go on and click accept and then next again and then that's what it's going to come up as so I'm just going to change it uh, I need to browse and you just save it to a folder that you will find it in 
So I'm going to save it to a file I'll be comfortable with. Uh, and then just click OK when you find the file that you'd like to save it to and then it will come up and then you just click on next again and then it says um, you can tick these boxes or untick them they'll all be ticked so you need to just go make sure that you want them all uh, create a VS Video 6 desktop icon which I'm going to Install Windows Media Format 11 series runtime files which I'm going to in integrate into the Windows Explorer context menu and I'll do that as well. Next. And then just uh, install. And our blue bar should come across your screen. I've no idea how long it's going to take. I have installed it before, but I forgot how long it would take before it took before. Then it comes up saying, uh, would you like to launch a Redshader converter after the setup? And you put yes, or I have in this case, so that I can show you how to work a Redshader converter. It isn't too difficult. So when it loads up, then I'll be able to show you. Okay, here we are. Um, for this bit, where there's a little dialog box, you just click on uh, continue. And here we are with AVS. Um, this can um, uh, convert a load of files into different formats, but I'll just warn you now that it's not a registered version, so it's going to uh, come up with a little mark if anyone's seen my videos before it comes up occasionally, but no one's ever asked me about it, so it's not really noticeable too much. There's AVI to DVD to MP4 um, to MPEG to WMV to Flash to MOV to 3GP to Blu-ray edit and menu. Uh, I always go for the AVI option for my movies. So basically, you go on to browse. Um, I'm not going to convert a video now, but I'm going to go on to my browse. And then you find the video that you'd like. There's no videos in here for me at the moment because I've not, I've deleted all, them all so that I'd have some space. And then you'd, you'd click on that video and um, it would say um, that it would save to your documents my video is untitled. I don't know if it will come up with that for you but it does for me. And then in the untitled box I always just type what I'd like it to be called. And then I just go to convert convert now and then it will come up saying um, telling you about it being unregistered so the little mark will come up um, and you just click yes to that and it will convert for you and it will give you a percentage at the bottom of your screen and it will come up across the bar so you'll know a lot you'll know when it's finished and it will say conversion complete when when it's finished and uh, that's about it. That that's how AVS works. And 
if you don't want to convert to your AVI, you just click on the one you want to convert to. I'll just give you a little tip. In WMV format, I did convert to that once, and it took um, 16 hours to convert um, a 5 minute video. So, AVI for me is your best bet if you're doing movies. Um, I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it's all helped whoever needs it, and uh, it's free, AVS is. So and it provides a good um a good service really. And then I just go and put everything in Movie Maker and edit it in there and upload it to YouTube in HD. So um if any of you would like to do the same then that'd be great. So I'll see you all soon.